Find the angle A. So what we've got here is angle A. We've got this triangle here. Now these two lines here and these two lines here means that this length is here and this length is here. Therefore this triangle is known to be isosceles. Right, using the highlighted triangle and then extending this line a little bit here, we get the exterior angle of the highlight, highlighted triangle. And we should know that x will be equal to the sum of the opposite two interior angles. So we're going to consider that highlighted triangle and its exterior angle, we're going to call it x. And exterior angle is equal to the sum of the opposite to interior angles, i.e. x is equal to this angle plus this angle. So x will be equal to 24 plus 33, which is 57 degrees. Right, now consider this highlighted triangle. We know this is 57 degrees. So consider the highlighted triangle. The triangle is isosceles, this means that this length is equal and this length is equal, and it also means that this angle here, the base angle, this angle here is equal to this one here. So it has equal base angles. Therefore, forming an equation, the angle sum in a triangle is 180 degrees, so using this triangle here, this isosceles triangle, we can say that A plus 57 plus 57 is equal to 180. Gather these two terms together, we get A plus 114 is equal to 180, minus 114 from both sides, we're going to get that A is equal to 66 degrees.